Welcome to Falcon TV. Subscribe to the channel to stay informed and inspire us. Hurricane Idalia caused widespread damage in Florida, especially in the Big Bend region where it made landfall as a Category 3 storm with winds of 125 miles per hour on August 30th. The storm brought catastrophic storm surge, destructive winds, heavy rain, and flooding to many parts of the state. At least two people were killed and hundreds of thousands of customers lost power. Hurricane Idalia is a currently active tropical cyclone that is impacting parts of the southeastern United States. It is the ninth named storm, third hurricane, and second major hurricane of the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season. It formed from a low-pressure area that crossed Central America from the eastern Pacific Ocean and intensified rapidly over the Gulf of Mexico, reaching Category 4 strength at one point. It made landfall in the Big Bend region of Florida as a Category 3 hurricane on August 30, bringing catastrophic storm surge and destructive winds. It weakened to a tropical storm as it moved across Georgia and South Carolina, but still posed a threat of flash flooding and power outages. It is expected to move offshore by September 1st. The difference between a hurricane and a typhoon is that they are the same weather phenomenon, but they occur in different regions of the world. A hurricane is a tropical cyclone that forms in the Atlantic Ocean, the Eastern Pacific Ocean, or the Southern Pacific Ocean. A typhoon is a tropical cyclone that forms in the Western Pacific Ocean. Both hurricanes and typhoons are rotating systems of clouds and thunderstorms that have low pressure at their center and strong winds around them. They can cause heavy rain, strong winds, storm surges, floods, and sometimes tornadoes. The intensity of hurricanes and typhoons is measured by the Saphir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale, which ranges from Category 1 to Category 5, based on the maximum sustained wind speed. Typhoons tend to be stronger than hurricanes because they form over warmer waters that provide more energy for their development. According to the web search results I found for you, the strongest hurricane ever recorded was Hurricane Patricia, which attained the strongest one-minute sustained winds on record at 215 miles per hour, 345 km per hour, on October 23, 2015. It also reached a minimum central pressure of 872 millibars, HPA, 25.75 nhg, making it the second strongest tropical cyclone worldwide by pressure, only behind Typhoon Tip in 1979. Hurricane Patricia formed in the eastern Pacific Ocean and made landfall in southwestern Mexico, causing severe damage and flooding. Hurricanes are most common in the tropical and subtropical regions of the world, where the ocean waters are warm enough to provide the energy and moisture for their formation. Hurricanes are also known as tropical cyclones, typhoons, or cyclones, depending on where they occur. The Pacific Ocean generates the greatest number of tropical storms and cyclones, with the most powerful storms sometimes called super typhoons, occurring in the Western Pacific. The Indian Ocean is second in the total number of storms, and the Atlantic Ocean ranks third. Within the Atlantic Ocean, hurricanes are most common in the Caribbean Sea, the Gulf of Mexico, and along the eastern coast of the United States. These storms are propelled east by trade winds and the warmer waters of the southern Atlantic. This helps explain why 10 states in the U.S. are the most hit by hurricanes, including Florida, Texas, North Carolina, Louisiana, South Carolina, Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi, New York and Massachusetts. Florida has the highest number of hurricanes in the U.S., with 120 hurricanes making landfall in Florida, or 40.4% of all U.S. hurricanes. To prepare for a hurricane, you should follow these steps. Make a plan. Hurricane season starts on May 15 in the North Pacific and June 1 in the Atlantic and the Caribbean. It ends on November 30th. Before hurricane season each year, make sure you and your family are prepared by planning ahead. Write down emergency phone numbers and keep them on the refrigerator or near every phone in your house. Program them into your cell phone too. Prepare an emergency supply kit. Locate the nearest shelter and different routes you can take to get there from your home. If shelter locations in your area have not been identified, learn how to find them in the event of a storm. Pet owners. Pre-identify shelters, a pet-friendly hotel, or an out-of-town friend or relative where you can take your pets in an evacuation. Gather emergency supplies. During and after a hurricane, you may need supplies to keep your family safe and healthy. Remember that a hurricane could cut off your power and water supply. You also may not be able to drive because of damage to your car. Roads may be flooded or blocked. That's why it's best to be prepared. 
Stock up on everything you might need now. Be sure to prepare the following. An emergency food and water supply. An emergency medicine supply. Emergency power sources such as flashlights, don't forget extra batteries. Safety and personal items. Important documents, including medical documents, wills, passports, and personal identification. Know the difference between a hurricane, watch, and warning. Listen for National Weather Service alerts on TV or radio or check for them online. There are two kinds of alerts. A hurricane watch means hurricane conditions, sustained winds of 74 miles per hour, MPH, or higher, are possible in a stated area. Experts announce hurricane watches 48 hours before they expect tropical storm force winds, sustained winds of 39 to 73 miles per hour, to start. A hurricane warning is more serious. It means hurricane force winds are expected in a stated area. Experts issue these warnings 36 hours before tropical storm force winds are expected in the area to give people enough time to prepare for the storm. Get your car ready. Make sure your car is ready before the storm hits. Fill your car's gas tank. Unplug electronics and appliances. Shut all windows and doors, and cover them with storm shutters or plywood. Get your family and pets ready. If you hear that there is a hurricane watch or warning in your area, you can take steps to get ready. Move outdoor furniture inside. Protect older adults. Understand older adult health and medical concerns. Protect your pets. Ensure your pet's safety before, during, and after a hurricane. Get your home ready. Be ready to evacuate or stay at home. Prepare windows and doors. One of the best ways to prep a home for a hurricane is by protecting your windows and doors from broken glass. Turn down the temperature. Lowering the temperature in your refrigerator and freezer can help keep food fresh longer if you lose power during a storm. Stay safe after a hurricane. In addition to preparing for a hurricane, it's important to take steps to stay safe after a hurricane is over. For example, avoid flooded areas, take precautions before, during, and after a flood. Prevent carbon monoxide co, poisoning after the storm. Ensure your CO detector has working batteries. Place generators outside at least 20 feet from any door, window, or vent. Hurricanes are named by the World Meteorological Organization WMO, which maintains six lists of 21 male and female names that are used in rotation for the North Atlantic Ocean. The names are chosen to be short, distinctive, and culturally sensitive. Each list is reused every six years, unless a storm name is retired due to its severity and impact. A storm is named when it reaches the wind speed of 39 miles per hour, and it keeps its name if it becomes a hurricane. Hurricanes are also known as tropical cyclones, typhoons, or cyclones, depending on where they occur in the world. The deadliest hurricane in history was the Great Hurricane of 1780, also known as Huracan San Calixto the Great Hurricane of the Antilles, and the 1780 disaster. It is the deadliest Atlantic hurricane on record, killing between 20,000 and 22,000 people throughout the Lesser Antilles when the storm passed through them from October 10 to 161. The storm was part of the disastrous 1780 Atlantic hurricane season, which featured four other deadly hurricanes that caused at least 1,000 fatalities each. The exact origin, track, and strength of the Great Hurricane of 1780 are unknown as reliable records and observations were scarce at that time. However, it is estimated that the storm reached Category 4 or 5 intensity on the Saphir simpson scale, with winds exceeding 200 km per hour, 125 miles per hour. The storm caused widespread devastation and loss of life on many islands, including Barbados, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Eustatius, St. Vincent, Grenada, and Puerto Rico. It also affected other regions, such as Jamaica, Cuba, Bermuda, and the eastern United States. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up. Thank you.